Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of that show that will not be named. Today, some stuff has been on my mind. Pardon me in my voice. I got a little cold, so it's I've kind of been neglecting from making videos, but this is going on my fourth, fourth, fifth, whatever day, and I'm just getting kind of annoyed. And there were things I really want to talk about, so I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to make some videos today. So, first order of business, I wanted to go back, and not sure if I talked about this in the past, but I really wanted to get into Dark Escape. Now, Dark Escape 4D was a on-rails horror shooter game that was released in 2012. And, personally, it was one of the scariest on-rails shooters. On-rails shooter horror titles are my absolute favorite. If I had to, if they were on my top 10 list of video games, they're definitely up there. Um, I love, like, Vampire Night. I love the House of the Dead series. And for those of you who, like, watch my channels and see any times that I've talked about, um... Uh, House of the Dead in the past is I kind of figure I, I see House of the Dead as sort of like the redheaded stepchild or rival of the Resident Evil series whereas the Resident Evil series is more of a different type of video game with a different formula a different format House of the Dead has always been an on rail shooter uh, title so <clears throat> for whatever reason I've, I've just been following it and I got into um I got into House of the Dead when I was maybe f 10, I'm going to say. And when I was 10, the first time I ever played it was at a, uh, what are they called? You know when you go on a long road trip and you're uh, a guest? And, no. A quick stop or something? You know, like those, I, I can't believe what I, I can't remember what they're called. But it's just, you know, those big complexes on the highway or whatever. And there's always restaurants in them. And little stores and stuff. It's when you're traveling across road. Because I, tra I moved a lot. A around a lot when I was little. We always went on a ton of trips. And. We went into one one day. And there was like the bathrooms were upstairs. And like this area. There was like a whole section above. And next to the bathrooms were arcade games. And next to those. Was the first House of the Dead. Now this is before. This was like 1996, I guess. So this was before the other ones had come out. So it was more prevalent. Like, now I'm sure if you go to an arcade, if they do have it, they probably have one of the more recent House of the Dead games. But this, um, uh, this quick stop or whatever just happened to have the first one. And I remember only having enough change for, like, I, I think I might have asked my grandmother or something, but I only had enough change to play, like, one, I only had one life. So I only got a little taste and I never actually made it into the building in the first game uh, I never actually made it into Curian's mansion I died before I could reach it because I was a little kid and I was shit at video games and this was the first on rail shooter I had ever touched not including um, the area 51 on rail shooter which was at my local uh, DVD store my local DVD rental store which was the bomb when I was little. Every time I went into there, it's like there two things caught my eye in that video story. It was either the Area 51 arcade shooter or it was the row of Goosebumps VHS tapes. They were on the bottom uh, shelf on the right side of the DVD store. I could tell you where everything was in that DVD store. We went in there all the time. But anyways, uh, getting back to House of the Dead, there were a few things that I noticed about it things that I wanted to bring back because in my personal opinion there's not enough people talk about it. they just released a new game uh Scarlet House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn and I'm looking for people to talk about it and I'm not really a big you know forum guy I hate going on forums I I'm like call me old-timey but I think forums on websites are very on wikis and shit like that are very they're oversaturated they're overfilled you say something and then there's like a hundred other people that come in after you so nobody hear the thing that you say maybe someone does see what you say and then they reply a hundred replies later i don't have time for forums i'd rather sit down to people talk to people about this shit that i love and i figure hey if i'm the only one talking about this on youtube especially people are gonna like it and then i could actually reach the people who are talking about this stuff um if they happen to find this video but between dark escape 4d and the house of the dead series I'm not sure if anyone of you who has played um, Dark Escape 4D 
Do you think that it could have tied into any other game series? Like, because when you look at Dark Escape right now, the game stands alone. You are a girl, it's a girl, and the player, whoever you are, you were both kidnapped and you were placed on this uh, island and you're trapped by this madman. And he's he's like a scientist in a mask. And he's like, hey, yeah, kill all the creatures on my island, escape, and I'll let you go free. And then in the end, it turns out that there's also this general that they kind of have a bet going of whether or not you'll get off the island or not. And um, it's a pretty good game. It's scary as shit. I've known like four people that actually had to leave. They couldn't handle the game, whether they were afraid of the, you know, loud noises, the arachnophobia, the gruesome um, things. Uh, some One of them had a heart condition. And... I played through the game every time. It was in my local I Play America. Every time I went there, I played that game. And I refused to leave until I played it all the way through. Which kind of pissed off some people I went with because they were like, huh, we don't want to do this. We don't have time for this. But I would. I'd go and I'd spend endless credits constantly every single time. I don't care how many, time, how, I don't care how many times I had to die. I'd play that game all the way through. But it always struck me that uh, Dark Escape 4D... It could fit into another universe. When I had originally played it, I'm like, this is definitely like a, um, a Resident Evil tie-in or a Resident Evil uh, spin-off or something like that. That's what I figured. And what I started to do is I, I went through and at the ending of the game, if you get the good ending, the female character that you're with the whole time tells you her name. It's like Kate something or other. And I tried looking up her name, so I took the name and I... I Referenced and referenced it back to the House of the Dead series, the the Resident Evil series, any past any on rail shooter titles or you know any zombie titles that I could find. I tried going back and I'm like, oh maybe she's like the daughter of a character from one of these series, and I tried looking it up, and I found nothing, which led me to conclude that uh, Dark Escape 4D is in fact just a standalone game. But getting out of Dark Escape and getting right into the new House of the uh, Dead uh, game, uh, Scarlet Dawn, which features a character, a, br a new character, a brother of one of the other guys, James Taylor, I believe it was. Ryan Taylor is one of the new AMS agents in the new game. And Kate Green, I believe it is, um, from House of the Dead 4. They're the new two characters in this new game, uh, Scarlet Dawn, which was just released, I think, a few months ago, or however long ago. <clears throat> and I'm looking all around for it, and I have no way to play this game. I'm dying to play this game, but A, I don't know any arcades around me that have it. B, I don't have the money to buy the actual arcade machine. And C, if I want to, you know, watch gameplay online... There's a little to nothing. There's only trailers and then like one or two people on their phones like shakily uploaded um, themselves playing it. So there's no real way for me to get into the game, see it is, like check it out, review it or anything like that. I feel like I'm going to have to wait like uh, however many years until somebody either uploads uh, a version of it or uploads a playthrough that's clear. I figured, like, Dark Escape was made in 2012. So that's, like, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This has been six years. And I can't find an HD playthrough of it anywhere online. I've been looking up and down. Nowhere. I would like that because then I could show other people that and maybe get other people invested in the game. Maybe get other people interested. But there are these games that are coming out, these Unreal shooters that are absolutely fantastic. They're great. I mean, personally, in my personal opinion, I thought Dark Escape, playing that, kicked Dead Space in the nuts. I thought Dark Escape was ten times scarier than Dead Space. The game is fucking terrifying. And yet, no one's talking about it. Nobody's mentioning it. Everyone's, oh yeah, that's that horror game at that arcade. It's tucked away in the corner. No, what are you doing? Go over there. Go. If you think spa Dark Space was creepy, go play Dark Escape. Dead Space, my bad. Getting mixed up with the names here. Sorry, once again, cold. Very jumbled up here. But it just astounds me. All these fantastic Unreal shooters and nobody's paying attention to them. Nobody's mentioned them or nothing. 
And it's just kind of annoying because it's like, I, I love these games. I will always love these games. And I just have no one to talk to about, about them with. And like I said, I'm an in-person type. I'd like to talk with these people in person. I'd like to get more background on the game. I'd like to see background art. I'd like to see shit that was taken out of the game. What do the people that made it think? What Do you have any concept art? What, like, substance, please, I beg you. I would just love to see all this shit, but it seems like when it gets brought over here to America, because I know most of these are, like, Japanese-made, and then they get brought over to America, and we just get, like, here's the game. Um, any other questions you have? <sighs> Sorry. Can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, uh, provide anything else. And it's just kind of bum because it's like dangling candy in front of somebody, and it's like you don't get you don't get fully fulfilled. That's what I'm feeling like. But um, jumping back to the House of the Dead, I'm still sticking by my theory that Harry Harris, who is one of the AMS agents from House of the Dead Two, is the mysterious limping bad guy that appears at the ending of every game following uh, three, I believe, two or three. I forget if 3 had the limping man. I don't think so. No. Maybe he did. I don't know. I have to go back and check. But for those of you who you might have seen my last House of the Dead video uh, a while ago, probably a while ago, in which I talk about um, everyone speculating, oh, who's the mysterious limping evil guy at the ending of each game? And I keep saying, well... Anyone, the, the mysterious Slumpy Man, first of all, the guy who's in charge of all the shit that's going on in the evil, in the uh, House of the Dead universe, he obviously is someone who is within AMS, noting their downfall and their destruction in House of the Dead 4 when their headquarters was overrun by zombies. Um, it has to be someone within AMS, Harry Harris, and it has to be somebody who sustained an injury in their universe, uh, one of the characters who sustained an injury early in the series, Harry Harris, and those are pretty much two big pieces of, I guess, clues that I'm going off of. I mean, people are saying that in the new game, this guy who um, lures all these people into his mansion and then sets the zombies free in uh, Scarlet Dawn, the new uh, game that had just come out, they keep saying it's him. I'm like, no, no, this guy's just another lackey like Goldman, like Curian. They're all underlings. For Harry Harris. Because in my opinion, it's like... If you notice, they have used every single uh, member of the Terret in, House of the, in the House of the Dead series. They've used all of them except for three. I think the three are like the devil, um, the maybe the sun, or something else. And in my personal opinion, the greatest ending, rather than Scarlet Dawn, which is supposed to be like a prequel... But then it's going to be like, oh, hey, we have... The House of the Dead does this, where it's like, hey, here's this prequel. Um, but you know how number three is supposed to be, like, the last game in chronological order in the timeline? Where uh, all the shit that happens in this prequel is never mentioned in number three. So that, that's, that's one of the things that I definitely think hurt the House of the Dead series. But I feel like they're going to do that with Scarlet uh, Dawn. They're just going to reveal some shit, and then it's going to be like, oh, yeah, it was... Was never mentioned in uh, three, so they just keep on making prequels, and there's too many plot holes that keep popping up. So, but once again, going back to it, I definitely think that Harry Harris is the mysterious limping guy who's behind all of it because it only makes sense. He works for AMS, which would give him inner knowledge as to how to take them down um, from the inside out, and he's the only character in their entire universe that was shown on camera. Who sustained an injury when he was cut by the giant... I think his... Uh, what was his name? Justice? Or something to that effect. The giant chainsaw-wielding dude uh, cut him in his side. And the last... One of the last things you see of Harry Harris is uh, Amy, one of the other AMS agents, holding him like, Oh, oh, I was injured, oh. And if you see the area like he's holding, like you could attribute that to the limp that the guy has when he's walking around. So... To me, like, call me crazy, but to me, it only makes sense that Harry's, Harry Harris is the guy that was behind it all, and not this new villain that they're pushing for in the new Scarlet Dawn game. Um, that's all I really got to talk about. Uh, if you enjoyed Dark Escape 4D, or hell, any horror shooter ever, please comment in the comment section below. I would love 
to talk with you about this or, um, you know, made up a person. I, I just love these games and I got no one to talk to him about. Nobody. So, uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to leave it off there and uh, some more videos coming our way, some more video, uh, more movies that I wanted to talk about. I got some movies the other day I wanted to discuss. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining me.